So there's one thing you basically have to do in order to basically gain as many students as you want or to even retain your students for as long as possible. And that is basically that you basically don't give your students just the martial arts. So let me explain in order when they come to your dojo, they set up there, etc. You don't just teach them their martial, your martial art, basically, for example, karate or whatever. Uh, what you're basically doing is that you're giving them an identity shift. So they're here, they're not able to do karate or whatever martial arts, and you're you're bridging the gap to over here where they're then um, able to, for example, be a blue belt, black belt karate uh, student of your dojo, basically. Um, now, what, usually this error goes up because when they don't know anything about karate, they're usually a bit down here, and then usually when they know something about karate, they're usually up here. So most people tend to to draw these arrows up when they talk about goals and not down because, well, white belt, uh, like a black belt is obviously better than a white belt. I guess you get that point. Um, but yeah, like the main thing, like you basically give them like an identity shift. So you're you're so you're tasked as a as a dojo owner or as an instru instructor or whatever or as a dojo basically in general, is not just to to provide your students with martial arts or whatever, your task is to basically change their life and to change their entire identity so that they basically grow into a completely different person. Um, it's the same with it's the same with basically any other business. Let's for example take like um, a fitness coach or whatever. So let's say they are working with uh, quote unquote obese clients, nothing against it, but um, against the BME. I don't know if it's called BME, but against um, the average of, of of a Western country, a person that weighs like 120 kg is obese, so to speak. Uh, I don't want to get cancelled, so nothing against that here. Uh, but yeah, they're working with, with, for example, women that weigh 120 kg, and they help to, those women to get down to 60 kg, for example. And um, I mean, they're, they're basically their task is it um, to get them down to 60 kg, but in order for the woman to go from 120 to 60 kg, they basically need to shift their entire identity. They basically need to turn their entire life around. And the only way to do this is over time and through like psychological pain. Um, so to basically kill your current sense of identity and to grow into a new one through suffering, pain, which can be reflected on yourself through discipline most of the time. Um, it's just how the human existence works. And the point of this video is it's the same with your dojo. Like get out of this trap that you, when you sign someone up, that you're just teaching them a martial arts and that is, then that's it. Good night. You can you can go to sleep. Whatever. No, no, no. You're you're basically changing their life. Like you're growing this person to like a different person. You're making them. Like you're basically giving them all of the characteristics that your martial art has given you when you started the martial arts. You're giving them more confidence, more discipline, more focus, whatever it is in your case, and. Your task as dojo is it to basically help those people or help your students to undergo this transformation, uh, whatever whatever form. Um, now, this is the best thing to do if you really want to gain more students but also retain students for longer. Plus, um, if you want to retain students for longer, another tip. I didn't intend to, to say this on this video, but I think it fits in here right now pretty good. Is that basically... You want to have a vision for your students. So when they sign up, you maybe sit down with them or if, if you have people who do this, all right, let's say one of the instructors sits down with them and then they explore how, how many, how, what kind of goals they want to achieve in five years down the line and one year down the line and 10 years down the line, right? And like have a vision for them, right? Like where do they want to be? Like, all right, they're now in the beginner's class, but they want to move up to the advanced class, whatever, they want to go to competitions. Um, whatever it is, whatever their goal is, or they just want to lose weight and what to do just as like a hobby, this martial arts, whatever it is, like, but really set those goals with your students when they sign up and then really like, look at them. All right. Now we're three months down the line. How, how do, what do you think? Are we getting closer to those goals or not? Now, how much you personalize them to each student depends of course on how many students you have, et cetera, et cetera, how much time you have for this. But really think about like, like you correct, correct. Like it's just a quick thought here. Maybe I can do about a video about this in the future as well, but it's like, um, there you could implement like a system with goal setting for your students, right? So no other dojo is really doing this. So you're even outstanding on the market here a little bit more, which is uh, a quite cool thing to do in business. Um, anyways, so to recap from this video, main things, um, when students sign up in their dojo, you, you're not just teaching them a martial arts. So they're going from B 
being bad at the martial arts or not knowing the martial arts, being good at the martial arts, you're basically giving them an identity shift. So you're basically helping them become a different person. Plus, if you really want to uh, keep students for long term in your dojo, just set a vision for them, set like goals for them, what they want to achieve when they come to your dojo. With that being said, if you want more students for the dojo, click the first link in the description and take care. I'll see you in the next one.